folks, welcome back. It's Friday Fitness with me, Andrew Chadwick, your certified strength coach. Now, this week we're going to be looking at rotational power. So if you're a rotational athlete like golfers, baseball, one of the big things that we've got to be able to do is generate power from the ground, through the lower body, through the hips, to the torso, top of the torso, shoulders, into the arms, and then into the club or bat that you use or racket that you use. And one of the big things that we do here at the ETA is we test athletes on their shot put power and their rotational power. And when we've done this, we're really able to see how we can isolate what their fault is, elevate it, and then translate it back into their sport. And so if they play golf, what we really like to see is at the top of their backswing, they can drive into the ground, generate that power through the torso, and into the club. And so when we've tested them and we find out where their deficiency is, we actually then bring it into some exercises. And so the first exercise we've got, we're working on a kneeling shot put. So we're down onto our knees, we have the medicine ball here at the chin, we rotate onto that right hip, and then we drive on out as fast as we can. So we're here, loaded, we push on out. Now the other thing that we do with our athletes is make sure that we hit the non-dominant side as well. So, we're loading on up onto that non-dominant side, we push on out as hard as we can. Now from here I'm going to translate that up into a more standing position. So once we've isolated the movement a little bit with the upper body and the kneeling shot put, we'll start to elevate it slightly and bring it up to the feet. And this is where we can really start to add in the hips and the torso a little more so to work together to produce as much power as possible. And so we've got our shot put again. I'll take the medicine ball here at my shoulder. I'm gonna load up onto my right side. I'm looking to get my left shoulder over my right foot. When I do that, I'm loading up effectively into my right hip, and I can start to generate that force out of that right hip, through my torso, and then produce that power into the medicine ball. So I'm loading up here, I'm gonna load up. From here, push out as far as I can. And you can see here that replicates that kind of rotational sport, that uh, golf swing, to be able to drive out and produce that power. So again, same thing here. I'll load up on my non-dominant side this time. I'm trying to get my shoulder over my foot. I'm loaded, and then I'm gonna drive out, push on out with that non-dominant arm. So again, loaded, push, and out. And you can see here, it's trying to replicate that golf swing. Some of the longest hitters in the game for golf are the players that have the ability to produce the same or similar amount of power on their dominant side and their non-dominant side. So that's how we'd like to elevate the exercise. Next week I'm going to talk about how to translate this over into the golf swing and how you can get more speed, more power into your golf swing, having done the strength portion, to then move on to that speed side. So that's this week's Friday Fitness. Please do go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, make sure you stay notified with any new videos that are coming through. We've got plenty of great content coming. We want you to stay updated. Again, that's this week's Friday Fitness. I really appreciate the support. Make sure you go ahead and stay engaged with us and we'll bring you more content when we can. I'm Andrew Chadwick, your certified strength coach with the ETA. Take care.